Hello everyone, hope you're well. I know I'm all like cosy and uh, casual, but I'm here today with a really exciting video and this is probably one of the most requested videos on my channel. You guys have been through it with me, through my studies, and then as soon as you found out that I was working, you guys kept asking me for a workwear lookbook, workwear lookbook, workwear lookbook, and I was really reluctant to do it because I actually find work clothes beyond boring. Like, <laughs> I have to be honest, like, I've really struggled to keep motivated in like finding cute clothes. I get bored wearing the same thing day in and day out. And I just wanna pre-warn you guys of a few things in this video before we start so no one gets kind of like Larry with me or anything. I think the word smart can be interpreted differently by everyone. So what I might find smart, you guys might not find really smart. So that's also why I've called this a smart and smart casual workwear lookbook because the industry that I work in, I'm going to get into it, I kind of do push the boundary of smart a little bit, but to me this is smart-ish wear. Also said that this is going to be a bonus, and the reason for that is because I've also included the workwear pieces that I've bought, but also wear them day to day. So it just goes to show you guys that you can really have a good interchangeable wardrobe, and I do think most of my wardrobe, not everything, like I wouldn't wear this to work, but you guys know what I mean? Like a lot of my wardrobe I do find I can interchange. I'm a pharmacist, I've said this a million times, I work in a community sector, so that means I am a customer facing role. So I basically work in retail and I work in a retail shop. We don't have to wear a uniform or a tunic or like an overall or anything, we just have to look smart. The way we kind of are told to dress is I would presume it's more like suit, attire, um, you're not really allowed to wear cardigans, you're not allowed to wear funky tights and kind of stuff like that, you're not allowed to wear boots, so we are kind of really limited and like I said, there are definitely boundaries that I push, so like I've said before, I think if the boundaries here, I probably go about, I'm, I'm probably about there on the boundary of like how I dress, but this is how I dress, no one's ever really commented, I don't think anyone really cares as long as you're not kind of like flashing anyone and there are certain times, so for example if there's an interview, I'm going to show you guys probably what I would more wear to an interview as opposed to like on a kind of just normal day, like a Monday or a Tuesday, you know, at work. This is more wintry, so there's a lot of knitwear in this video. I don't know if a lot of other places in the workwear allow knitwear. Now, where I work, if they didn't allow knitwear, I wouldn't work because the store especially, so I cover different stores, I've said this before, but most of the stores that I work at, and especially one that I'm covering at the moment, I've said this in my last video, like, I can't even put into words how cold I get. And I'm a coldie anyway, like I'm, I could probably say I'm cold now. So if a lot of these you think, oh my God, Barb's like, you were, you're like layering lows. It's just because that's how I am. You can totally take layers off or you can add layers if you want underneath. That's what I normally do. So I'm normally wearing like 20 layers anyway. My basis of a winter workwear outfit is a black polo, black trousers and loafers. So, definitely take this video with a pinch of salt, but I do hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm just gonna get on to describing each outfit. So I placed a huge Zara order. If anyone's been following me, you'll know that I have recently really decluttered my wardrobe. The thing about Zara workwear is it is, it is a little bit more quirky. I'm definitely, I'm a quirky girl. Like, I always say this when people are like, oh my God, like your outfit, yeah. I'm quirky, like I like to add accessories. I love belts, I love headpieces headpieces, like headbands, that's what I'm into at the moment. I love quirky loafers, that's just kind of like my thing. Because I'm freezing, like I said, I saw this jumper in Zara and I was like, I need this, this will keep me warm, I can totally wear this in my day-to-day -day life as well, it doesn't have to just be work. And Zara does these in so many different colours and I'll try and link some similar things down below because I know loads of different websites do them for cheaper, but this one was £40. Huge burgundy roll neck jumper and it's so super soft. Love this colour, especially for this kind of season that we're in. And it just makes a boring black outfit a bit more interesting, so that was definitely a staple piece that I really wanted to add in this outfit and then I've paired it with these trousers that you guys can see. I think any girl needs a check anything in their life, whether it be a check blazer, which I've added in this video, or these check trousers. Again, I have found dupes of these that I will link below that you guys have absolutely loved and bought. And these have just been such a good staple. Like, look at this little color combo. You could totally wear these with black, which I'm gonna show in this other outfit. I've just got my phone because I've got all the outfits. I've already filmed the outfit cutaways and now I'm just gonna talk about the outfits. And I also bought some loafers from Zara and I am really in the need for loafers, but I just don't know if these are the ones. I find sometimes Zara 
Zara thicker loafers can be really squeaky and like, I don't know, my, my foot like, maybe because I've got quite narrow feet, they like cause air, I don't know, is that really weird? But I really like this outfit and another thing that I really wanted to show you guys which will be featured throughout this video is this hairband, headband thing and I haven't worn a headband since I was probably like 10 but I used to wear things like this all the time and I just thought this was so beyond pretty. I get bored wearing the same thing all the time, I have my hair up most of the time at work and this sort of thing is just so cute and just kind of jazzes up an outfit. Again, don't know if every single place will a, let you wear this, or B, whether or not any of you guys are even going to like this. But a little bit of interest, this is just so fun and definitely really 80s as well, which I feel like I'm really into the 80s. I'm into the 70s, I'm into the 90s, I'm into anything that's just like retro or old school. So I just really like that. Again, if you don't like that, just admit it, or if you just don't vibe it, just totally omit it from your outfit. But I love wearing these check trousers with just black polo, just a good blazer. I've had that blazer for years. It's just from Zara. Again, I love Zara. Probably most of these outfits are gonna be Zara. I will show alternates down below because I know you guys love it when I do that. And I am so into these outfits. Again, maybe the burgundy one is a bit more casual and then the black polo is a bit more, you know, dressed up and put together. And for the bonus look of this outfit, I am just wearing the trousers with my gorgeous boots that I bought from Zara in my last video, which I'm still in love with. They're 30 quid, guys. I will link them down below. Everyone needs them. I bought them for my cousin as well. Like, they're gorgeous. And I'm just wearing them with my favorite boyfriend biker jacket, which I'll link a similar thing down below that I know lots of you guys really are into because the jacket's super old. And of course, the beret. So it just goes to show that you can definitely reuse your items. So those check trousers, yes, they're quite dressy, but you can totally make them more casual by adding something from your wardrobe. Next outfit is actually something that I, I get inspired again by the Zara website a lot, by Instagram, but I really do like the way that Zara layers, which is totally something I would never think of, but I already had this in my wardrobe, and it is a Zara shirt. It's just a blue and white pinstripe shirt. If you don't have one of these in your workwear wardrobe, I don't know what you're up to because this is such a good staple. And this one's quite oversized. I've got fluff from my jumpers on it all over it. I've worn this like on nights out as well. So again, they're super versatile. You don't have to just wear them for work. And in this outfit, weirdly enough, I've paired it over. So yes, over, not under, a polo neck. And like I said, I saw this on the Zara website and then another one of my favorite things to do is add a belt. The best place again that does snazzy, funky belts that I just think are really cool are again from Zara. I got this a few months ago and I love cinching in my shirts. With this, I've worn this so much in the summer. They were doing it in loads of different colors, but I just got the black. I just really liked that look. Again, it was layered. I was able to wear loads of vests underneath um, the polo and then I wore the shirt over it. I love also buying black trousers that have a bit of an edge. So the slit at the front of these are really cool. Unfortunately, I got these in a size a bit too big. I got these in an M and I definitely need a small, so I might have a look into getting those. But that's the kind of look I like. I like wearing a bit more of a quirky thing. Again, I get to push the boundary, but I don't know if everyone will be able to, but I managed to get away with it somehow. Please no one watch this video and tell me off. Next are my suits. Now these are my boss, excuse me, but boss kind of vibe outfits and let's say I was going to an interview I actually did wear this blue suit to my work interview when I had an interview again you could totally pair it with a white shirt but my basics for this video was a polo a black polo because that's just what I'm wearing at the moment I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm it's too cold for me in my stores to wear just a shirt I will freeze to death and I just won't be fun all day because when I'm cold I'm mad I get my suits from Topshop Topshop does the best tailored suits they actually funnily enough have this gorgeous pink velvet one that I've been lusting after but I just don't don't know where I would ever wear and those are the kind of fit it's the same fit as these ones that I wear to work the trousers are slightly cropped which I like I don't like a really long trouser and then that probably constitutes to why I'm cold because I get cold ankles and feet and then it's just super tailored do them in loads of different colors and they bring them out all the time they are a little bit more expensive I would probably say combined they're about 100 pounds but I've got it in a blue and a green color and I've worn them both to death but I say my blue one is like my boss 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 one but even sometimes like if I know I'm gonna have a really busy day or if I know we're gonna have people coming into work or if I've got like people coming in and observing us and stuff like that I will wear a suit or I will try and wear a suit if I remember or know that they're coming in next we come on to what I would probably say is one of the most casual outfits and you guys know my little pearl jumper from Zara which I absolutely love and I have loved these silver loafers from Zara for God knows how long I don't even know how long I've had them I've actually bought two you know you love something when you've bought it twice because the first one's got mashed up and then I bought another pair and it's just a kind of 
really cute kind of I look like a Christmas ornament outfit and I'm all about that um, loads of people say they love that jumper and I think it's so cute you can totally dress it down and dress it up and I'm just wearing a striped shirt underneath it again the layering thing I don't know if everyone's into it but you guys wanted to see my workwear and this is my workwear wear it a lot with my black trousers and a white shirt underneath and I still wear my silver loafers because I love my loafers if I find those loafers um, I will link some down below but then I've bought some more knitwear and also a gorgeous shirt so the shirt in question as soon as I saw this this is these are just my colors for autumn winter I knew I had to have it and it's again from Zara it's got one side that's this kind of check and then the arms are a different one I actually pair it with this beautiful cable knit jumper from Zara again this this is one of their huge jumpers I love that kind of huge turtleneck look I just think it's really chic probably again one of the more casual outfits but I definitely don't think I look like not smart it's definitely you know I'm not showing skin it's still got a bit of a smart vibe with the navy trouser you guys if you're working girl you need a good pair of black and navy trousers I'm not a skirt girl if you're expecting to see skirts or dresses in this workwear video please click off I just I'm not gonna lie to you guys and put a skirt in this when I don't wear skirts and dresses to work. I only ever wear wacky trousers, patterned trousers, or just black and navy, and that's kind of it. So sorry to disappoint, but I absolutely love those colors for knitwear at the moment. I just think they're absolutely beautiful, and again, just a really cute outfit. And then I've also given you guys a bonus outfit for this one, and I've just paired the shirt with those leather trousers that I've worn before, which I absolutely love, with my silver loafers and my Chanel bag, and that's totally an outfit. It's a good, actually, date outfit, so it's the kind of thing, like, totally wear it, like, for a date after work. So let's say I was coming back, I was gonna have the quickest shower of my life, I could just pop the shirt back on and put my leggings back on, or if I was going straight from work, I could take the leggings in my bag, you guys get the gist, and, um, yeah, I get dressed up. But I I don't know what do you guys think you and then I wanted to show you guys my basics so I did tell you guys my basics is a black polo black trousers black loafers and then I've got my different blazers so I've got my pink blazer which is beautiful it's fuchsia it's from Zara again I also have it in a green but it's in a kind of different texture which again I love and um, I just I love those kind of blazers I know they had the matching trousers but I, I didn't go for the matching trousers I just bought the blazers also rediscovered my velvet blazer from Zara again I love again a different texture and I've tried to style it up with different pumps if you guys also want a different way to style up your outfits buying different quirky shoes having obviously basic pairs of like black loafers is a good thing but I love also playing up my outfits with my different quirky shoes and I've had those shoes for years and I love them again from who's guessed it Zara so yeah I love those shoes and I also love this black and gold blazer is I don't know if it's a blazer dress but I wear it as a blazer and I wear that all the time it's got like a Balmain 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 Balm, I can't say the word Balmain um oh my god that sounds so like common Balmain I don't know blazer kind of vibe um but definitely not it's probably like one millionth of the price and I've got some Primark loafers on. I've still got those Primark loafers and I've bought another pair actually because I knew I've smashed the other ones. And again, wearing it with my cute headband. But this is another bonus and this is a dressed up version. I think I've shown you guys these trousers before. They're from Topshop. I love them. They've got like a little cut out the front and they kind of look like it would be a suit, but it doesn't really match. And it kind of, I don't know, I really liked it. And I'm just wearing my Topshop vest with it. And I don't know, I just, I really like the look and I have actually worn that to a party before and I really liked it. It's got kind of like a casual dressed up sort of vibe, which I like. So I'm sorry also I haven't included coats in this video. I just honestly, adding coats would have been just extra ag. So just add your favorite coat onto any of these outfits. So I hope someone took something from this video. I actually don't know if anyone is gonna like my workwear style. If you ever see me at work, please come and say hi. If I have resting face is because I generally do have a resting face it's not something that I can help when I go to work I want to be comfy I still want to feel put together I do make an effort for work like I do I genuinely do like my mornings I like to get ready for work I like to put makeup on I like to do my hair hair not so much but makeup so please let me know down below whether or not this video has been helpful for you and whether or not you've enjoyed it and got something out of it essentially just play it up with accessories get some really cool knitwear pieces and blazers and a good pair of trousers that you're going to live in so for example those black trousers that i have i have three pairs yeah three let me know what you'd like to see down below and i will see you all very soon love you lots take care bye